the inviting currents of Coldwater Creek, there's something very wrong. Wind through miles of North County neighborhoods, parks, and schools. Why are all these people in North County sick? Carrying a legacy of nuclear waste. Roughly 15 people that I know of that I've found over the past couple of months. Just uh, in this neighborhood. Just in this neighborhood. Karen Nickel, who has an autoimmune disease, can't believe how many of her classmates and childhood neighbors are getting sick. I don't want my kids or any other kids to end up like me. About two years ago, Janelle Wright and several of her class of 88 McClure North High School friends started wondering why so many of their peers were battling cancer. Where it got to be suspicious was um, when we had two friends that were diagnosed within a few months of each other with appendix cancer, and both people were told that that's a one in a million cancer. Wright, an accountant and former auditor, started collecting data from her classmates. Soon, peers from neighboring schools reached out too. On Facebook, this just took off like wildfire. People started reporting their cancers and then autoimmune diseases. At first, there were 30 cases. Within two months, she had data on 200. Now, her maps have 700 cases in four square miles, including 62 brain cancers, 27 cases of leukemia, 26 cases of lung cancer, 24 cases of multiple sclerosis, 15 cases of lymphoma, 10 cases of pancreatic cancer, and three cases of conjoined twins. Wright became equally alarmed when data showed some of her classmates' children had serious medical problems too. We're seeing odd things like several children have had to have their thyroids removed before they were 10 years old. Strange coincidence or was something else at play? Another classmate is now a professor of statistics at Northwestern University and she ran her own analysis. She says the likelihood of so many of her peers having cancer is 0 0.0000001, a statistical improbability. Connected by Facebook, high school, and illness, they made a startling discovery. The creek where they played as children carried a secret. In the 1940s, Malincrod Chemical Works in downtown St. Louis purified thousands of tons of uranium to make the first atomic bombs. But the process also generated enormous amounts of radioactive waste. Citing national security, the government quietly ordered the material moved to North St. Louis County in 1947. 21 acres of airport land became a dumping site where a toxic mixture of uranium, thorium, and radium sat uncovered or in barrels. In the 60s, government documents noted contents from the rusting barrels were seeping into nearby Coldwater Creek. And by the 90s, the government confirmed unsafe levels of radioactive materials in the water. You're having to grasp this idea that there was something wrong that nobody knew about, our parents didn't know. Janelle and the 2,000 people now on her Coldwater Creek Facebook page wonder if over the years they breathed in radioactive dust that blew in from the dump or swallowed small amounts of toxic creek water. Just too surreal that this many people are sick. Janelle hopes she is wrong about the cancer and linked to Coldwater Creek. Her greatest fear is that she is right.